This is the C major scale. I'm Billy Glazer, I'm a cellist with Music Canova, and this is the scale of top end today. So, why do we play scales? Scales are very important in building our technique. We use them for left hand technique, right hand technique, you name it. So, when approaching a scale, what do we do to make sure we are playing it correctly? First, we have to check the key signature. So, we're using C major as the example today. C major has no sharps, no flats. So therefore, when you get on to the A and D string, things are a little bit different with your positioning. Nothing changes with your first finger, but something changes with your third and your second finger. If you watched earlier, we start with an open string, one, three, four, open string, one, three, four. That's the first octave in C major. When we go from the first octave to the second octave, our hand position changes. We start on the fourth finger for the second octave. Four, open, one, two. It's different from open, one, three, four. Four, open, one, two, four, open, one, two. That is the positioning for the upper two strings because there are no sharps and flats. Now we're going on to working on the two octave scale with the right hand. So we want to focus on getting a good sound, not too quiet, not too loud and harsh. So how do we get a sound like that? We don't want to have a tense right hand at all. We don't want any tension in our shoulder all the way down to our fingers. It should all be natural gravity. And later I'll be doing a video on a bowl hold um, technique, so you can watch that in another video. C, one, three, four, open G, one, three, four, open D string, one, Practice slowly, trying to get a good sound always. Another thing you can do when practicing the scale is practice with a metronome and practice with a drone. You can access these on the App Store or on YouTube on the internet for free. Now let's move on to broken thirds and two octaves. These are optional. So when preparing broken thirds, 
We start with the tonic note, which is the first note of the scale, which is open C. And what is three notes above open C? We count the first note as one. One, two, three. It's E natural. The third of C major. And now we place our finger on one, and we find the third again. One, two, three, F. Always remember to do slow practice when playing broken thirds or anything doing with scales, just to make sure you have the correct notes and the right pitches in the key. This is the C major two octave arpeggio. So in practicing arpeggios, we're going to place the second note of the arpeggio on the third of the scale. Just like the broken thirds, we count one, two, three. And that is E. And now we have to count three notes above E as well, and that is open G. And now we have something a little bit different. We have a fourth. So we have to count four notes above open G. It's C again. So we're back at the first note of the scale. And we just repeat this. That's the first octave. The second. second. Remember, we have to play two on the A string because we no longer use the three because there is no sharps and flat in this key. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.